Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John DeYard and welcome to LifeSpot.com where we prove ancient medical wisdom with modern science. And today I want to talk about some really amazing ancient medical wisdom that has been lost. You know, there's thousands upon thousands of herbs that have become endangered, uh, lost because they were really, really popular herbs, really, really beneficial. And because of over harvesting and greed and many other factors, a lot of these herbs have become endangered. One of those herbs, my absolute favorite herb years and years ago when I first got into practice in the early 80s, is an herb called kukti or picariza, the number one Ayurvedic liver herb. Uh, one of the most important herbs in the Ayurvedic pharmacy. In 1997, it became endangered uh, and therefore was illegal to sell um, and impossible to get. So we had to stop using that herb. Sadly, though, a lot of people wanted the herb and the herb was still in high demand. So there were wild crafters and people would go into the, into the Himalayan mountains and harvest it and basically harvested almost into extinction. And this happens with a lot of herbs, thousands of herbs. Many herbs every year are becoming endangered or becoming more and more rare and harder to get. And this is a big problem, not only just the Ayurvedic herbs, but herbs from around the world, because something that works really well, everybody gets into it, next to, you know, the whole, the whole world wants it, and there's just not enough supply to go around. And the only way to really solve this problem is with you know, ethical har growing of these herbs in their traditional way, which is very, very difficult. Um, there are, there's what are called a CITES permit, which is a permit to actually grow and sell endangered herbs. And at, here at LifeSpa, we created a whole new plan and a strategy called RARE, Reviving Ayurveda's Rare Ecology, all about bringing these endangered herbs off the endangered list. And our first herb we're super excited about is the herb called kukti, an herb that uh, we just got in uh, and it's grown in the Himalayan mountains about 25 miles from the Tibetan border in a very, very small remote village. It takes literally days upon days to get there um, in the high Himalayan mountains. And there are some growers there who are willing to grow these herbs in the traditional way. We, we teamed up with a foundation called the, Duna, the Dunagiri Foundation. You can get more information about that at um, rare.lifespa.com. You get a whole website on what we're actually doing with this project to actually help uh, bring many of these endangered herbs back off the endangered list. Like I said, the very, very best herbs are oftentimes in danger because they were used up. And to get kukti back is a phenomenal thing. And we're super excited about being able to bring this back with a CITES permit, with all the proceeds going back to uh, the farmers and the growers and the Junagiri Foundation. Let me explain exactly what we're doing with the proceeds of this. So we have this line called Rare. The first herb in this line is called kukti. I'll tell you how crazy amazing this herb is in just a minute. Um, but the... the uh, the idea was that we actually created this line. This would be the first herb of, of hopefully many ones we can actually do. And the proceeds we ended up doing this year is LifeSpa bought the entire crop uh, from these growers in the Himalayan mountains. And, uh, and we took what we needed to create this line right here. And we gave the rest back to the Dunagiri Foundation. And all the profits for that go to the Dunagiri uh, Foundation. Uh, the profits from this sale... 15% of it goes back to the growers and to the Dunagiri Foundation as well. And on the website at rare.lifespa.com, you'll see that there's all the initiatives that we're engaged in, which is getting them better water, better wells, which are collapsing, better tools, you know, better living environments, you know, actually reviving their, their, their ancient wisdom. The elders are, are, here's what's happening in these small villages that grow these herbs in the traditional way. And we're talking about very high in the Himalayan mountains. To live there is extremely harsh. So the young people go into the cities and they can't make a living in the mountains. So they go into the cities and they never come back. So the elders are dying off with this knowledge of how to harvest them, how to grow them, the value, the medicinal value, just the, the whole cultural aspect, which is why we call the rare, the rare, 
reviving Ayurveda's rare ecology because it wasn't just about the herbs, even though it's mostly about the herbs, it was also about the whole understanding of this whole culture, the whole ecology of their environment is being damaged because they can't sustain that. So what Dunagiri Foundation is all about and what our rare line is all about is to support these growers so they can live in a, in a fair trade way and grow these and other herbs that grow in the high Himalayan mountains and actually deliver us herbs that, that are endangered still, but because they're sustainably grown, we can use them and that actually supports the growth of next year's crop and next year's crop and they can get a bigger crop and we can actually bring these herbs off the endangered list by doing it this way. This is why we're super excited about, um, about this line. You can see we uh, have all kinds of brochures you can look at it. There's pictures of the growers we have on our, on our rare.lifespot.com website. You can look at them and get involved in understanding the value of helping these endangered herbs come off that list and to bring an amazing herb like kukti back into our ability to use them. This herb right here, kukti, is, is a phenomenal herb, the number one liver protective herb on the planet with 400 billion pounds of toxic chemicals being dumped in the American environment every single year. We need something to help protect our liver. You know, I talk about bile flow a lot and how the number one abdominal surgery in America today is a gallbladder removal surgery, which comes from a diet of highly processed, cooked, bleached, boiled, deodorized, omega-6, polyunsaturated fatty acids that we eat a ton of, and not enough omega-3 fatty acids. And those processed foods have congested, they're oils that the bugs don't eat. They put those oils in bread, in foods, so they stay on the shelf forever, and they don't go bad. The reason why they stay on the shelf forever is because the bugs won't eat it. They don't want anything to do with it. When you eat that food, your bugs, your microbiome won't eat it either. And as a result, all that sludgy oil that can't be digested by any of your microbes who eat oil, by the way, goes right to your liver and congests your liver. Your liver and your bile is the kingpin of digestion. No bile, which is the buffer for your acid, your stomach won't make the acid. And it'll, all the acid will stay in your stomach waiting for the bile to kick in and you get... Um, heartburn and eventually your stomach fire stops making the acid that you need. Um, the liver, it, it makes bile like a pack and clean and scrub your intestinal villi. Rotor rooters out all the sludge is what kukti does. Kukti is a cholagog, it, which means it increases bile flow, rejuvenates the function of your liver, your bile ducts, your pancreatic ducts, the the, the function of the bile so it can clean house, gobble up toxins, scrub your intestinal skin, and keep your digestive system functioning optimal while protecting you from a toxic world we live in. I'm going to do another Facebook Live tomorrow. I'll talk, go into more detail about Kukti and what it does, so stay tuned for that. But I want you to know this herb is back, and it hasn't been back since 1997, and it's back with a CITES permit, which is a permit that says that this is an endangered herb, sustainably grown, and it's back. And this is our new mission here at Life Spa, is to bring you the most amazing herbs that have been endangered because they're so amazing and bringing them back in a sustainable way. And then in, in doing that, supporting the growers um, who are living in, in, in really extreme conditions and bringing that back to, to bringing them back to the, the, uh, the, the prestige of, of being growers of these amazing Ayurvedic herbs. So uh, I'll talk more about the details of, of Kukti tomorrow and tomorrow's pod, uh, live Facebook Live. So stay tuned for that. But check out our website at rare.lifespa.com. Um, and I think you're just going to fall in love with the, this whole mission that we have. We're super excited about it, as you can tell. So check it out at rare.lifespa.com. Thanks a lot. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.